Photonics Laboratories has developed the laser source operating on new principles using semiconductor nanofabrication technology. The small chip in the center of the screen contains this laser source. Let's zoom in even further on the center section using an electron microscope. There are many holes arranged in the lattice in an indium phosphorus thin film that is only 0.2 micrometers thick. This is a photonic crystal. Here, embedded in a row with no holes, the laser source is constructed using three kinds of semiconductor compound. The hole lattice in the thin film changes the refractive index of the film significantly, preventing light from penetrating it and causing it to reflect. Thus, light can be confined to a narrow region by injecting it between lattices of these holes. We embedded an extremely small active layer having a length of 5 micrometers, a width of 0.3 micrometers, and a thickness of 0.15 micrometers. This large circle symbolizes the cross-section of a human hair, giving an impression of the small size of the active layer. The volume of the active layer is one-tenth that of earlier semiconductor lasers. We apply excitation light to the active layer. The active layer absorbs energy from the excitation light and begins to laze. The laser light jumps to a nearby waveguide and is output. Now we will test its operation. This confirms the ability to perform modulation at 20 gigabits per second. Despite its small size, it is able to perform high-speed modulation. Power consumption is at an extraordinary low level of 8.76 femtojoules per bit. At this speed, this is equivalent to transmitting data from more than 13 million DVDs using the energy of a single AA dry cell battery. Because of its small size and low power consumption, the photonic crystal laser is very promising for application in CPUs, for PCs and servers. In current CPUs, nearly half of the power consumed is used for data transmission within the chip. Establishing data transmission layer integrating devices, such as photonic crystal lasers, would enable major decreases in power consumption. Our next subject is to control lasing using electrical current rather than excitation light. We expect photonic crystal lasers to become key devices for building optical networks within microprocessor chips.